Good morning everybody and welcome to my humble abode of Cavatago Santorini, not humble at all. This is one of the most beautiful hotels I have ever stayed in the whole entire world. You will probably see it in the next vlog because I suppose the next vlog will be the beginning in Santorini and then the end will be back to Paris. I just wanted to show you a little snippet of what's in front of me. This is the view from our room. While on holidays I was thinking what video like sort of besides the vlogs what else could I film from here that I think could add value and be useful to you guys? Since you always ask me to do some kind of like styling videos and videos which show more about fashion and my genuine advice, I thought since this is actually the last day of my holiday, or day before the last day of my holiday, it would be quite nice to show you from my experience which accessories really proved to be super useful what i really loved and what i really recommend to everybody now i came i would say with a suitcase and a half of things because i was in greece for a total of 10 days so it's quite a while <laughs> not wearing any makeup i just realized so please excuse that I wanted to kind of show you the pieces that really really did mark my holiday and pieces that I thought were super useful that I would really recommend especially when it comes to accessories now I have filmed already like 10 outfits for vacation but this would be my summer must-have accessories video accessories that will change your styling and your wardrobe that really really helped me a lot so let's start from the beginning the jewelry now i promise i will link everything that i mentioned below because in the last video some of you guys mentioned that i forgot to mention a few pieces and that you guys um, couldn't get all of them so to start off with the most asked question is always about this earring over here which is a safety pin earring i love it so much i wear it next to it i have a little earring with the chain which is from adina's and then it's maria tash maria tash also here always ask me about the adina's i will link it below and then the little moon one which also is very popular. I also wanted to mention my friend Nikki. Um, she did a collaboration, Nikki Sky, with Ana Luisa and created these earrings. I have still not uh, taken them off uh, this carton because I've been saving them for a special occasion. I think they're super beautiful. Let's try them on in this video. So they've reached to me quite late because I actually moved to Paris and they arrived in London. Uh, but my sister has uh, sent them to me. They have, you can't really see, but they have three different holes on the ear so that you can kind of custom adjust where you want the love to hang below your ear, depending how high or low is your piercing. There we go. Now the earrings, I don't really change up. I do bring some, but to be honest, there is nothing really that I would point out as very important for the holidays for me. Earrings are not really something that I tend to change on my holidays. What I do really pay a lot of attention on my holidays are my necklaces. That's something very, very important to me and something I really love. There are four necklaces without which this holiday would not be the same and I will try and insert some pictures as well that prove it. Now, necklace number one would be this little, this is actually a choker, so it can be worn like this, but I'm wearing it at the loose point of the chain. It has the little turquoise stones in there and I think it's such a beautiful, beautiful piece for the summer. Another choker that I have frequently worn and you have seen it a lot is this little pearl one. Again, I will link it all below for you guys to find it. This necklace is absolutely stunning. Now this is what it looks like. I love the little pearly detailing. I love layering necklaces in different lengths and I think this piece just always adds something special to the styling because if you look at it the detailing is pretty incredible and I really love it I also love that all of these necklaces that I'm showing you are fairly inexpensive I'm getting a lot of questions on Instagram if I'm swimming with them <laughs> I'm not probably supposed to say this and recommend this but I am I never take them off so I'm always going with them and I haven't noticed any change. Another one, I don't swim with this one because it's quite heavy and I don't sleep with it because it's quite heavy, but it's a very special piece for uh, summer. And I have worn it, I'll, I'll insert the picture when I have worn it so that you guys can see what it looks like on as well. 
but it's this sort of like a chain necklace a beautiful chain actually a chain that goes sort of from larger to smaller hoops and then i decided to add this little ball at the bottom because i just thought that this goes really well with it i love this one because it adds that kind of special um, effect to the look but then again a necklace that you guys probably asked me the most about and the necklace that i wore the most is the necklace with the letter t of course you don't have to get a t you can get anyone <laughs> any letter that um is your initial or your i don't know like child's initial or your boyfriend's initial husband's whatever you want to do mine is letter t i absolutely love it there are little pearls inside as you can see and i wear it every single day most of my jewelry that i've shown you is silver gold plated and none of it has been damaged or lost color or shine in the water so i just wanted to let you know that i shower with them and i swim with them i'm probably not supposed to say that but i do because i'm a creature of habit and i don't remove these a few other things that i have consistently been wearing is i love wearing rings especially when my hands get a bit of tan and i have four to show you now one that is not really new and you guys know that i wear anyway all the time is my cartier this is the double Justin Clue ring with the diamonds. I wear this very frequently. I love this ring and I think it's very special. But I have like um, three new rings actually that I would like to show you. And I've been wearing them together. Let's put them on so that you can see them better. Now, index finger will be number one. This sort of like a chain ring, it's quite thin. I got a size bigger so that it can go on my index finger. And then I have this like a double ring which is very, very special. At the back, it's like goes together, so you can wear this as well. And my favorite of three is this one. I wear these two together and I love the combo, especially because it's also quite inexpensive jewelry, so it's quite affordable, quite summery. I love the top ring because of the turquoise stone. I think it's quite summery. And this is what they look like together. I really, really love these rings. So that's about it with the jewelry. Now I'm gonna show you the favorite sunglasses. The ones that you guys didn't stop asking me about ever since I arrived are these ones. I wore them in the previous vlog. I believe I have linked them in that vlog, but I will link them again now. These are the pink Gucci sunglasses. I love them so much. I think they're fabulous. They're so amazing and they add something extra to every outfit. Now, besides these, I also worn a lot these Bottega Veneta sunglasses. They're new. I got them, I believe, in... Um, in Paris, I believe I vlogged about it. Of course, Versace, Medusa. These are so chic. Then these ones. These you cannot really get anymore. They're quite old Metropolis Fendi. Also love them so much. And a new pair, which I believe you guys have not seen uh, before in any of my videos. Now look at this. I honestly think these are my new favorite sunglasses. These are from Chanel. I will link them below. They are so beautiful. So if you really look at the style of the sunglasses, they're stunning. They come with the pearly chain, which has the CC logo on the side. And the pearl chain can be taken off, but also, you know, you can keep them on and wear them like this. Okay, so that is basically it when it comes to jewelry and sunglasses. Another item that I think was super useful during the holidays is my Gucci hat. Now it came with this black strap, but I actually mostly worn this hat with this uh, Dior silk scarf. So this proved really, really useful. And the LV one as well, which I actually uh, got in Paris. You guys, I'm not sure if you saw, but I got a new beach bag. Now we're talking about bags already. And this is the on the go tote. Now I have to say that this on the go tote has proven to be the best beach bag so far. I really, really love it. And uh, another thing is that it fits so much stuff inside. So you might remember that I actually have another on the go to colorful one which i got last year i decided to get this one because i'm loving these blue colors and what better to bring to greece here you see what it looks like on the side it has mini monogram and in the front and in the back it's got this big monogram which perfectly matched the scarf that i got as well as the bathing suit now the bathing suit over here i will insert a picture the back detailing is pretty beautiful this is from escalé collection by the way could be that it's already sold out but it also could be available at the moment depending on where you live very loud playing in the background 
kind of loving this hat on so I'll keep it on now I'm also loving this Norma Caramali swimming suit but this one when I get in water it gets quite see-through so maybe get it in black we will link the black one below because I'm not sure I recommend the white one and absolute favorite swimming suit I will insert picture is drying Dior one this is perfect for tanning but also looks so beautiful and matches the scarf that I got. I'm wearing the Zimmerman jumpsuit, the Gucci hat that you can see, and on my feet I've got the Valentino Rockstead sandals. Nothing really spectacular, but these sandals are just really versatile and proved much better than I thought for holidays because they actually go with everything. They are just simple gold, silvery gold, like kind of champagne color, so they really, really go with everything. Besides them, these are the kind of like shoes that I mainly brought and I will tell you which ones I wore the most. I wore the Chanel slides pretty much every day next to the pool. I love them. They come also in white and black color. This is the like pearly work on them and I really love them. I wore these sandals every evening more or less and honestly I love them so much. I'll insert the picture as well from my Insta. They're so beautiful. They come kind of with like some sort of like tweedy material and then the logo but very easy and light to walk in i brought my favorite rope sandals of course with me because i love them so much but believe it or not i have not worn them once either of these just because i think that you see these sandals for me are more like city vibe not so much holiday vibe so i ended up really not wearing them like i mentioned i brought the um, Valentino sandals, really love them, wore them more than I ever thought I would, they go with everything. I also wore a lot of these Bottega uh, Python sandals, then we got the Christian Dior Espadrille sandals, obsessed, they go with everything, the champagne color is perfect, and then my Amina Muadis, which you could have seen in Tamara's challenge. Uh, <laughs> they're perfectly intact even though they landed in the pool, as you guys can see, everything is amazing. What did you guys think about that picture? By the way, I got so many beautiful comments. It was so much fun for me. I was actually quite scared to get into the water that way, but it ended up being so much fun. And lastly, I know you all wanted me to talk about handbags and I will. I have to say one that I've been really loving more than I even imagined I possibly could is the Lashvar acrylic bag. This is so beautiful. It also comes with another strap, but I'm only mainly worried with this one. And I also wore it with a little nano nano Fendi baguette inside. The Fendi baguette I'm talking about is the one from California Sky. It's so beautiful and it fits perfectly inside. Then of course for the evenings I worn my mini Kelly a lot because I love it. I brought this little Chanel belt that I have but I ended up not really wearing it. I wore both of my Constances. I think this is a perfect bag for summer months. I even wore this is probably not like the summer bag but the Dauphine Dauphine. I wear a lot as I really love this bag and I recommend it. This is a sample but I'm actually thinking of getting one. And another bag that I absolutely adore besides the on the go would be the Christian Dior. This is the medium book tote so it's smaller than the original book tote that I have in this colorful pattern which is the same one as on my scarf and on my bikini really love this thought it's such perfection and this is so easy to style because it has many different colors on it and that is basically it when it comes to the best summer accessories and best items for the holidays for me at least i wish to take this off also this is great because it's keeping me from losing the hat whenever it's windy which it is when you're on an island <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was a little bit informative it was kind of like a different format than all the other ones that i normally do but I wanted to show you what I brought with me, what I really worn, what I really have not worn that much because I think that's always quite good to know. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will try to get back to all of you guys uh, with my experiences and with what I think about what. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye guys!